I, I come from within a situation where there has been conflict for 75 years. We all know the IRA aren't terrorists. The IRA are freedom fighters. I want to ask a question today. And the question is simple. Where do the terrorists operate from? From the Irish Republic! I think that armed struggle and pursuance of, of independence I mean, uh, uh, is quite legitimate and is a necessary tactic. I had a dignified protest, and if anything happened at the gate, I would have to know exactly what happened. So you tell me what happened. I saw the gates torn down, I saw policemen being hit, I saw missiles being thrown at police officers. Is that the kind of thing you would support? And you didn't you didn't see an assemblyman getting his head cracked. Did you see that? A police officer throwing a baton and cracking his head, did you? I think that when 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 that national independence is won and that when we have a social democracy here from which will emerge hopefully uh, a socialist republic or a socialist system. I think that's when the armed struggle ceases. And yet, Mrs. Thatcher tells us that that republic must have some say in our province. We say never! 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 There he is for the extermination of heresy. And we are the heretics. And they have not changed their objective. I say to that priest tonight, you may take on other people in your travels, but you can't take on Ulster politics. For over 30 years, the IRA showed that the British government could not rule Ireland on its own terms. You asserted the legitimacy of the right of the people of this island to freedom and independence. Many of your comrades made the ultimate sacrifice. Your determination, selflessness and courage have brought the freedom struggle forward towards its attainment. That struggle can now be taken forward by other means. In the past, I have defended the right of the IRA to engage in armed struggle. I did so because there was no alternative for those who would not bend the knee or turn a blind eye to oppression or for those who wanted a national republic. Neither is an alternative.